I'd now like to welcome up to the podium Tom Hindmarch, who is director of Duncan and Topless. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Oh well, yeah, I'm the uh, I'm the money man. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you, having taken into account what everybody else has said, I'm going to tell you a bit about some of the benefits uh, potentially. Sorry, I'm just twiddling around here of um, your gifts, um, and hopefully persuade you uh, that giving is worth it. We've got a few, just a few items to run through: uh, gift aid scheme, uh, small cash donations. Um, I'll look at uh, capital gains tax, inheritance tax as well, and corporate giving and donations in kind, which is a very big thing these days. And Alison's covered corporate social responsibility, I think, so I'll leave that. Um, gift Aid Scheme. Gift Aid Scheme's been in existence for quite a long time now, and uh, it's where you, I think you've all seen it, and uh, I think we've got some floating around from Evergreen, but you get given a form when you make a donation and you tick the box, and I've just said there, for example, if you uh, hand over an £80 cash donation, uh, it's actually effectively that £80 is paid by you to the charity, but the charity can then, with the gift aid form ticked, go to the, uh, go to the revenue and reclaim the basic rate, another £20. So in total, you make a contribution of £100 to that charity. Um, I would just stress that if you are a non-taxpayer, don't tick that box, okay? Because potentially the revenue have the ability to come back and ask you for that tax which they've refunded to the charity. Um, I've also said there that it applies to capital gains tax and that's a bit of a one. If you can effectively make a, a uh, a charitable contribution it can sometimes move your income band from so you'd be paying capital gains tax at 20% on 10% but don't worry about that too much. Uh, small cash donations uh, from 6th of April 2013 the charities uh, in receipt of the cash donation of £20 or less from the individual can apply for a gift aid style payment so in the past uh, you used to put money in and the charity the taxman wouldn't give anything back, but now they will. Um, there is no tax relief for the individual, so if you're a non-taxpayer, that's quite good. Um, there is a donation for the charity itself. There's a limit to that. So, and for example, uh, it's ten times their gift aid donation. So, if they'd had gift aid donations in a year of say five thousand pounds, multiply that up by ten. That's fifty thousand. The lesser of or the 8,000 limit, so they'd get 8,000, they could go to the revenue and get 2,000 back. Payroll gifts, giving scheme, some of you may be with uh, uh, businesses where you offer this, uh, effectively uh, an individual can make a, a donation to a charity of their choice, uh, no limit, except you know, you've only got so much in your paycheck, uh, and that will come off your so if your salary was, say, £2,000 a month and you were making a £100 donation, then your taxable salary would be £1,900. Uh, so that's, it's automatically, automatically given. Uh, and for that reason, uh, there's no, there's no uh, tax credit for the charity. If you're an employer and you're thinking about setting up a scheme, uh, you need to go through a payroll giving agency. And you do need to just watch out for that. You do need to go, uh, HM Revenue and Customs actually have an approved list and you want to use one of those and not one of the others. Uh, capital gains tax and charitable gifts. Um, this is, some people don't know about this, but if you've got a qualifying investment um, and you give it, you decide to give it to a charity and qualifying investments, you'll see that I've listed them, stocks and shares, quoted stocks and shares, authorised unit trust, various other bits, and interest in land. And interest in land is uh, property, uh, so commercial property or 
uh, something along those lines or a piece of land um, you can get some quite substantial relief so I've taken an example if you if you've got a property which say you've got a shop which is worth a hundred thousand pounds today and say you bought it many years ago for ten thousand pounds so if you sold that to a third party you'd have a ninety thousand pound gain which would equate to uh, approximately eighteen thousand pounds of tax if you gave that to the charity that capital gain goes away obviously but also the value the market value of it that hundred thousand pounds can be deducted from whatever taxable income you have in that year so if for example you were earning a lot of money and you're on two hundred thousand pounds say that hundred thousand pounds could be not that hundred thousand pound gift you'd made of the property could be knocked off your income tax bill effectively it'd be not sorry knocked off your total income so your total income would drop from 200 to 100,000 so it's a it's a big uh, a big uh, benefit and the, I think if you recall a few years ago the government were to, or the government were talking about restricting gifts to charity in your lifetime to oh, sorry on an annual basis to 50,000 pounds and they actually there was a lot of outcry about that, and I'm glad to say that didn't come into, into play. Uh, inheritance tax. Do you care how much tax you pay when you're gone? Uh, some people do, and it's a good thing they do, because uh, gifts to charities are generally exempt. Uh, and from the 6th of April 2012, uh, where you gift more than 10% or 10% or more of your estate to um, a charity, then you'll get a reduced rate of inheritance tax, 36% will apply. So I've just scribbled down some numbers. If you had a taxable state of half a million, uh, your normal tax would be at 40%, 200,000. You'd have 300,000, which would be distributed out. Uh, if of that 500,000, you left 100 to a charity, you'd have uh, a 400,000 pound taxable estate and that would be taxed at 36%, so 154,000. So you'd have 246 left, 246,000 left for distribution. It's something which a lot of people do, and it works very well. Uh, corporate donations. Uh, I think one of the one of the things which Evergreen offers is uh, becoming a corporate friend of the trust, and any cash donations which are made are fully deductible in the against the company's profits or the business's profits um, they uh, the only thing they can't do is you can't so if for example your business had had a bad year and say earned ten thousand pounds and you'd made a twenty thousand contribution you couldn't actually create a loss you can only wipe out your profit as it were so the, the revenue won't wear it any further than that down at the bottom there, I put restrictions on benefits received in return. So this is just so, um, when I say benefits received in return from the charity, this is basically an anti-avoidance. Uh, anti it's, it's to stop scams and it's to stop other artificial arrangements. And there were some around in the past. And you can see if you were seen to be taking any greater benefit than that, you'd be in trouble. I don't think Evergreen offer any benefits to their no, good. <laughs> uh, donations in kind. Uh, sorry, I've lost my microphone, but hopefully you can hear me. Uh, if a business provides the trust with services or products free of charge, I mean, obviously, voluntary, uh, voluntary work or whatever, very difficult to quantify that. And obviously, the business which is providing that, if it's from the employees, they've been paid, and that would just remain deductible in the business, and that's that's that. And a bit like Alison was saying, you know, a lot of businesses will give uh, their employees time out uh, in the year, maybe a day, maybe half a day, uh, to go and do charitable work, and that's that, that's that's all taken care of from a tax point of view. I've just said if you can quantify value, and I took. Uh, the website I said you know if you've been out got a couple of quotes and say it was four thousand pounds and then someone had actually come along and said well don't worry we'll do that for you um, for free uh, it actually in the trust accounts it can show as a donation four thousand pounds and then you share as an expense of four thousand pounds and you know the trustees would be able to recognize the gift if it was substantial in their annual report 
And on top of this, uh, and I say that with Evergreen, I know there's a comprehensive recognition uh, package uh, for their beacons, and uh, that's that's you know getting social media, everything else, and I'm sure Rosie will tell you all about that. Uh, finally, I've put uh, corporate social responsibility. Uh, I think I referring to what Alison said and everybody else said. You know, it's uh, been a Businesses and not just large businesses like Cummins, but I think more so smaller businesses and only managed businesses over the last few years have started taking more of a a, a, a line that they want to that they perceive a value in their relationship with the community and they re, they want to help uh, and there's many ways of supporting that uh, and whilst not all of those are tax deductible. Um, they'll ha enhance the standing of your business in the community I think they'll make you personally feel better and they will hopefully help to make a difference okay that's me done thank you